what uh, what was said at halftime to give you an idea that you'd be called upon to be the spark in the second half? You ran really hard. I mean, no one said it. Just told her to come out and play hard. Was anything specifically said to you at all? Did they come to you and say, "If this is going to happen, it's going to be that's going to be on you"? Or did you feel that way at all? No, uh, like came out from halftime and they told me like, "You figure you to come in," so I, was, I went in. Um, the coaches have told me that that, uh, and we've seen it that you're so difficult to bring down. I mean, you're a hard guy to tackle. Uh, what's your mindset about being tackled, or you know, or not letting guys bring you down when when you're running? And do whatever I can to get a first down. And and was uh, how much did the early fumble at the goal line have anything to do with the way that you ran in the second half? I mean, I thought about that first, but then I'm like, hey, the play over, you got to go on to the next one. <clears throat> Seeing you're just moving, you'll be able to play the schedule with a win. How, how big is that? I mean, I know everybody wants to play uh, with a win. Just with a win. Well, I mean, it was just a good thing to do. Uh, it made us undefeated at home, so it's just nice. I mean, 5-0 is pretty good. Coach, what was Sean? How much do you think people underestimate your pass catching ability? We had two touchdown catches today. That pass, at the, that thing at the end was kind of weird. I ain't counting that. But you know the way that you caught balls today. Do people overlook that because you're such a good runner? I mean, I really, I really can't tell you um, how other people, you know, uh, go about uh, scouting game, uh, scout report. I'm um, putting a scout report up on me. Uh, <clears throat> I just. Um, I'm just going every, out there every day just to compete, you know, just try to get better. Um, I mean, today it was me catching balls out of the backfield and, uh, instead of being, uh, I mean, I had some pretty good couple rushes, but um, I really didn't run the ball uh, like I wanted to. Um, I feel like I missed. I left a lot of yards out there on the field. Uh, I go back and watch film and just try to get better. Um, and I'm just going to keep keep running or whatnot. Well, well, let me ask you this way. Is that a under... Uh, you know, I mean, is it an overlooked part of your game, though? I mean, you probably think you're a pretty good pass catcher. Whether yeah. it's, I mean, I feel like people don't really think, uh, expect a running back to come out the backfield catching the ball. Uh, I feel, I really feel like um, my catching abilities um, really help the team. You know, uh, really can help the team be dynamic. Um, I mean, when you got a back coming out of the field, uh, backfield catching the ball, and you got other receivers out there, they worrying about them making plays. Um, it made it made easy plays for Marquez, or uh, you know, to make. And so it's a stretch reliever when he when he's scrambling, he know he got somebody out there that can catch the ball, and he ain't got to really too much worry about it or, or, or stress. You know, Quiz, what kind of mistake are people making by underestimating him as a pass catcher? Well, I mean, I think that it's just really not expected. Right? It's just not expected. Like right? a lot of people, especially in our league, don't throw to the running back on pass play. So I don't really think they just underestimate. That's just something they expect. And then, uh, you know, again, you, you, know, you guys use them twice to catch, you know, for touchdown passes. Is that, is that a secret now? I mean, you know, is that a... Uh, uh, it's just a design play. Uh, and and, and, and when, when you guys came out in the second half and, and ran the ball so well, it looked like they were the same adjustments kind of that you went to against Mark. They dared you to run up the middle against them, and you did it more successful. And here... You know, you ran it against them. Was that similar at all? Oh, man, I don't know the reason why. Probably did a different the same thing we did at Martin. I don't really know. Well, then what turned you all around in the second half? We knew we should have been playing better than we were in the first half. So we just stepped it up. What kind of boost did the defense give you during that third quarter? Because they were having a tough time stopping them in the first half, uh, several three and outs, and you guys were able to sort of take them in. How big of a boost was that to happen? I mean, it was good. Uh, I think the first half, we, I don't know how many plays we played, but I know going into the second quarter, we had only played 18 plays. So, uh, we went out on the field. When we got out there, we didn't stay on the field long either. So, I mean, it's just not, it wasn't that far that they stayed on the field for a long time. But we had, we had to put uh, drives together later on. And uh, them getting us the ball back helped a lot. So, I mean, we had more opportunities. <coughs> Rashad. Uh, 
the fourth, the two fourth down stops that you made against them in the fourth quarter as they were trying to come back out. How big were those two circumstances? And I know you got some help from the ref on that one play to set that up, but the fact that you did you figure they weren't going to kick field goals because their guy wasn't good? Oh, I, I really don't recall. I was just trying to work the plays uh, play by play. I really don't recall the fourth down stops. I'm so in the zone. It's just it's just the next play. It, it, uh, how much easier has it been for you without having that club on your hand? <laughs> Kind of, it actually was hard to get used to. I had to adjust back to my hand again because I'm used to just using the club, using my hand as like a weapon, pretty much a disposable hand. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty funny how to get used to. I can't just throw my hand into a helmet anymore. I might break a finger again. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get it off? Oh, Has it been a while, or is it? It's been about four games or so. Okay. Yeah. And well, it helped you get the pick. I mean, if you had that on there, you wouldn't have got the pick. I don't think. Yeah, right? I would have got the pick. <laughs> And, and Eric, speak of the little bit. I mean, a big guy like you, it, is, is blocking kicks, is that a, always been a skill set for you? Is that something new? Tell me, tell me about that a little bit. Well, that's something new that um, the coaches thought I could do to help the team with this year. What, as, did you do any of that in high school or did you do any of that stuff at all? Or did you be six, seven, you're the guy that's going to do it? No, I never did that in high school. This is my first time being on field goal block. But since I'm like the tallest guy on the team, I figured it would help me out. Did, was there a game you got two this year? No. Uh, in EKU, I got one, and then Demetrio Tyson. That's what I thought. I, know, I think early in the box, they credited you with two. We had a picture of Demetrio getting, yeah. getting the second. So you've only gotten two, right? Yes, yeah, it's only my second this year. Okay. And then tell me about the one today. Just, you know, have it help break well, that down for a little bit. Well, the one today, we were down two points. I was just trying to do my part to help the team so we won't fall down by five. You like blocking kicks? I mean, it's like, what, it's, it's like smacking shots at basketball? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I get the, like, if the game on the line, I could be the person to help us win. So, yeah, I'm, I like it. Wait, and then at that point when you did that, what, is that how you felt? Were you a block field goal there? How important was that to carry on for the rest of it? And what do you think that was going to do for you going forward? Yeah, I figured if I block the kick, it'll help us move forward and we can have momentum in the second half. DeMarcus, it's not, I mean, I'm going to go back to the thing I asked you about having a guy being so difficult to tackle. Some guys have a sense that you ain't getting me down. I mean, it's going to take everything in your body to, to tackle me. And I refuse to get tackled. Is that, have you all ran with that mentality all the time? Or do talk about, I mean, if you will, just what do you think about that? I mean, I've been like that since high school. I mean, like, I mean, they, they give you the ball, you got an ounce. I mean, they give me the ball, I got an ounce. <clears throat> Rashad, have you ever tried to tackle him? I was just about to tell you. I remember uh, the first time I tried to tackle him, I underestimated him because he's a big. He looked like a big. He's a big back. He's not that. You don't expect somebody to be that shifty, being that big. And I remember they threw a little five yard out to him. I ran full speed, and he juked me out my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> how about once you got your hands on him? If you ever did get your hands on him, how hard is that? Oh, it, it, you got to break down when he's running the hole because he's shifty. It's ridiculous. It's pretty hot job. For, for all you guys, just, I mean, the, the way things started was not pleasant. Uh, any nerves? I know you guys have been resilient all year long coming back from early deficits, but was, did, was, did today feel any different either because it was P, I hadn't hardly won any games, or just, what was the sense early on? Well, anybody wants to jump on this line. I feel like people came out, oh, I feel like we came out kind of flat. Uh, I feel like we came out and practiced more uh, kind of while uh, we really uh, came together as a team. Uh, that's one thing I like about this team, just the senior leadership. You know, uh, we're very, very vocal out there. We'll call each other out no matter who it is, no matter if it's a starter or somebody that's not even playing the game, we're going to call them out. Uh, I, feel, I really feel like we're in the locker room. You know, they was up two points on us, and we really know they did not two points better than us, even though, even though it was at halftime. Uh, we just really went in there, you know, talked to each other, made made adjustments, you know, uh, motivated each other, uh, talked a little trash or whatnot, you know, try to try to get 
try to get some motion or emotion into the game. And um, I really feel like guys really came out and stepped up to the challenge. You know, defense came out there and got stops and offense. We really went out there and um, put points on the board. Now, as I said, the probably the only guy in this room that's played against them. You're going to play Florida next week, and you played them twice.